Thanks, Joe. That's exactly the way he was. Jonah, I bring greetings from Rick Shepherd and Linda Gale could not be here, and they said to be sure and tell you. And Rick, Rick you, know, you know Rick; he's real profound. And he said, uh, "Be sure and to tell Joan that the thought that comes to him is faithful for you and Brother Sparrows, faithful, always faithful, regardless of the cost." He said, "That's what God put on His heart for me to tell you." Bill Stafford, who couldn't be here, told me to make sure he wanted you to know that they're praying for you. We're here to celebrate today, aren't we? I was just thinking as Joe was talking how exactly the way he is and was. And I, I just have to smile at him being in heaven right now. I'll just be honest with you. I, uh, he told me so every day, Brother Wayne, you'll never learn to pronounce the Greek words. <laughs> and uh, I could just hear somebody in heaven saying, it's not pronounced that way. It's <laughs> 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 We're doing the conquering the fear of death. I've thought of the verses. He, he helped me understand death more than any human being alive. Not to fear it, conquering the fear of death. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and I just remember the verses, Therefore, always being of good courage and knowing that while we're at home in the body, we're absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. But be of good courage, I say, and prefer rather to be absent from the body and to be at home with the Lord. I can just I just wished I was somehow there the moment that Brother Spiros met Jesus. Talked about him, studied about him, lived it out. The moment Fotis, when he saw Jesus, Simeon, what an awesome experience that must have been. When faith fell away and it's by sight, I wished we I wish we could hear him now, Joe, when he would say, Oh, what I know now <laughs> and where he is. He's more alive today than we are. He's where we're all headed as believers. And what a joyful reunion that must have been. I was never really impressed with what a man could do with God when I thought I saw Spiros. I was more impressed with what God could do through a man that was willing to surrender to him. That's what I saw. I always saw that way. Even when he would correct me. By the way, Joe, I wasn't looking for somebody to disciple me. Dr. Zodiades just realized how much I needed discipling. <laughs> and when he took me on, he, he told me one day, he said to me, he said, do you know what a transitive verb is? And I said, no, sir. He said, do I have to teach you everything? I said, that would be good. You could start there. <laughs> he was so good for me. Nobody ever made me think like Dr. Zodiades. Uh, one day when I finished a message, he would. He came up to me and he said, Wayne, I need to talk to you about that verse. And I said, why did I miss it? He said, oh, no, you never touched it. <laughs> but the beautiful thing about Brother Sparrow said, I remember, and we're celebrating today. We're celebrating a home going. The grief is with those in the family that are left behind. But we're celebrating him today. And the, and the thing that stayed with me, that that he loved me in spite of me. He just loved me and spent that time with me, and I'll always be eternally grateful for that. People have said today, Wayne, who is it that ministered to you earlier on? And I have to say, Brother Sparrows, if there's any crowns in heaven for me, who knows? And before I give them to the Lord Jesus, I'm going to have to give them to Sparrows because of how God used him in my life. I'll eternally, eternally be grateful for this. And what a privilege it is to be here today. Let's just pray together. Father, we just thank you so much for the memories. Lord, when we think of the ways in which you have used an individual in our lives, it's, sometimes we get caught up with the individual, but Lord, we know it was you. But we also know we appreciate the man who is willing to surrender and to say yes to you. Dear Father, I thank you so very much that I saw you in Brother Sparrows. Even, Father, in the times that he was chastening me for, for perhaps not studying or maybe something else, but, Lord, I saw the love, and I saw it, Father. He was helping me. And I thank you, Father, for the sweet memories and the joys that we went, the laughter. Lord, I thank you for those days when we just laughed and laughed and laughed. Lord, I thank you for the humor that you put in him. 
I thank you, Father, for the, the realness of who he was. But I thank you more so, Father, that he knew you that he's with you right now. And, Lord, I, I pray for Joan. I pray for the family. I pray, Father, for each one that's been touched by Brother Spiros. And I pray, Father, that you would give them the grace now to go on. And Father, I pray that in, in their weakness, as you've said in your word, you continue to be their strength. Lord, I, I just want to thank you for the millions of people that have been touched by one man willing to surrender and a wife who's willing to share him with the rest of us. Father, I, we all look forward to seeing you one day. And I don't know how it works, Lord. I'm still learning. But I pray, Father, that if there would be a way that you could do it, would you just say hi to Brother Spiros for us? Lord, we see his sweet picture, his sweet face. And we do see Jesus in him. We praise you for this time, Lord. We thank you for these that will be sharing. We honor you, Lord, for what you've done. In Jesus' name.